Yo, what's up, Legend Begins here with, uh, an, um, seed showcase, actually. I know I have never done one of these before, so let's get it started. And, uh, if anyone decides to say anything, I'm not comp- in the comments, I'm not copying Ant Venom. But, I, uh, he isn't the first to do a seed showcase, and I certainly won't be the last. So, uh, since I was finally able to get my Minecraft uh, frame rate running smoothly, quite smoothly, as you can tell, uh, I'd like to show off this map a little bit. You spawn right here in a village, which really surprised me. And, um, so I was looking around it in a little bit. And, uh, it's a really nice village. The, uh, there are a lot of farms. The only problem is the, um, there's no blacks in the shop. But, uh, it's not that big of a deal. The villagers have, a, uh, well, not in this case, but they've had, they have had some pretty nice trades. It wasn't that hard like this to get emeralds. Huh? Uh. Anyway, but, um, so you spawn right in a village. Let's see. It says that. Plains, yeah. And if you look around the village a little bit, which I'm sure you will, and go down the main path or str stray a little bit off to the side, you'll notice that, hey, there's a cave system down here. And it's a really good cave system, too. Um, before, I put that lava there just to light it up because... Because why not? Anyway... Just uh, when I was exploring this system, this cave, uh, myself. So that's where all this is coming from. But normally this whole area will be cleared. And it was really easy to get down there. I just decided to go, huh, let's just use a uh, lava for lighting. And uh, that was probably a very bad idea. Out here it just goes into a little room. Let's see. Don't really see anything uh, worth mentioning here. But it's a pretty expansive... <laughs> cave system. Let's just get myself uh, some torches. Let's uh, set that there. Oh. Anyway. So we can uh, just head down. It's a really nice large cave system. Uh, they've got some uh, nice ores everywhere. It's uh, not that hard to find anything to be honest. So, uh, and you can find your way out really simply, I guess. It's a pretty linear cave. There are a couple spots where it branches off. But it's really, uh, just one of the better cave systems I've seen. And you've got lava around here. Which ends here. And that seems about to be about the end of the cave system. I'm sure it branches off in some parts that, uh... I can't really get to in this video, but uh, it's really nice. I, you don't really get caves like this very often. And let's see if I can find my way out. There's gold here. Yep. I think I know where I am. Let's see. Can I head? No, not that way. Um, let's get back to the village. There we go. Follow the water, I believe. Maybe not. I see a torch, so I was definitely here. Ah, well. I'll just meet you guys back at the top. So here we are. This is uh, where you spawn, right next to the village. It's at night, so let's fix that. Yeah. Gotta love the, you gotta love the order in Minecraft, am I right? But, uh, there we go. And so, it's a really nice village. You got some creepers around here. And uh, the cave system just expands from every which way. You can go down this way and uh, follow that path. I'll leave you guys to explore that on your own. Now, however, if you go this way from the village, you'll see a really nice, um, see, Plains Hills biome. Let me see what the actual name is. Um, for right here, it's just uh, the Plains biome. The Get over here and you'll get to the Forest Hills. And I believe that's a more recently added, um, ooh, lag spike, more recently added biome, technically. At least the name of it, I believe. Anyway, as you know, this is a more recent uh, update, the version 1.7.10, and it has come with some pretty cool features. From what we remember, if you go into the super secret settings, that uh, you'll see, uh, you'll often hear a noise when you click the button. However, with this update, it changes the way the game is displayed, which I find really neat. 
it's like an old TV in this one. And they're just there are there are a whole lot of these different settings. This this will turn it back to normal. This one blurs it all out. This one, I love this one. This is one of my favorites. It changes the whole look of the game into a, a I would say really fine edged, sort of a rustic kind of look to it, I suppose. We've got another blurry one. Then you've got a black and white one. It goes back to normal every once in a while. And you get a, an almost a 3D effect. And you can also go upside down. So that's an option. Or you can make everything into a negative. Or like an old television. Yep, uh, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, anyone? I don't know that sound, but this one becomes a kind of a... Kind of like a blurry, static feel to it. It goes back to normal. Now this is like a television, like a... This is more like a security camera. And this is one of my favorites, too. This is, a. Uh, I would, I would call it the neon version of Minecraft. You can go down, you can look at everything, and it's really bright, really nice, while everything else is dark. I love this version. I would prob I would be willing to play a world on this uh, kind of look. It's like, it, it basically comes with a whole bunch of different texture packs. It's got this, which feels like you're playing a really old game. You've got black and white. That's not a creeper, that's just the super secret settings. Then you've got one that's just uh, night vision goggles. Tunic, basically. You've got a really blurry. Then you've got acid mode. Woo woo! Um, let's put on a song. Yeah yeah! Yeah yeah! Okay, enough of that. And you've got a, another less blurry one than before. Got this one. And we may have already looped around. I believe we have looped around. So those are the, all the new super secret settings. I'll, I'll leave it on this for now because I like this one. And um, so this was, you know, a review of uh, Seed and the new super secret settings. I really like the way they did it. It's like having a new texture pack. So let me know what you guys think. Should I do more of these kind of videos, or should I just stick with something else? Should I actually do a Minecraft map or of some sort? I'm trying to get a mod review up and going, but the mod really doesn't want to work with me right now. So uh, just let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below, and I'm open to all suggestions. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Make sure you share this video on Google+. Yes, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good. Let me see if I can make this jump. Good. Bye. Right. So I, got, I forgot to mention. Uh, here's the seed. Negative four three six four two two eight zero eight eight five two four six three six eight five four. Linked to the, or not linked, but um, <laughs> seed will be in the description down below. So don't worry about that. Thank you.